Okay, this how-to video is going to go through um, the 3D canvas that's available inside of the Cadence PCB tools. So there's a couple of ways to access this. Um, if we look under the view menu, um, there's the original 3D canvas that you probably recognize, and then there's something called the 3DX canvas. Um, we're going to cover the 3DX canvas in this video. So we can launch it obviously from either of these two options, or you've got the same two icons kind of available up here. Um, so let's use the 3D button. This launches effectively the, the 3DX canvas. Um, you may recognize this from the Allegro Free Viewer that was, uh, that was issued in version 22.1. Um, and it gives you um, a few panes, easier way to kind of find and manage the data. So um, there's the properties pane where you've got kind of the, the quick selection filter to turn objects on and off and some information about the board, the units, the size of the design, etc. cetera. Um, there's a search panel where you've obviously got your components, your nets, your pins, your traces, wires, shapes, fires, and groups. Um, and obviously, if we just find a component, for example, let's just pick on this one. We can double click this one and it would zoom and center to where that object is inside the design. Let's just scroll out. Okay, um, on the left hand side where the panes are, the visibility pane, we've got the ability to kind of look at the different layers available to us. Um, we can look at the different nets. So the net objects are, are selected. And again, you can double click on these and highlight those in the 3D canvas. Um, there's a components pane. Let's just turn off the mechanical components. Um, and then if we start to just scroll out a bit, we're using the shift and the middle mouse button, holding the middle mouse wheel down to kind of pan around or, or spin the design around. We can use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. And we can uh, hold the mouse wheel down to just pan around. Um, useful functions, if we go to the display function, we can look at the different um, opacities and uh, 3D opacities for the models and all the, the different objects such as silk screen and text and dielectrics, etc. Maybe take the solder mask down a little bit um, and you can see the effect on the screen. The bending is actually instant, so all the bending now, we can actually see the bend as we go along, which can be really helpful as well when you're trying to um, be something accurate inside your 3D canvas. I'm going to open a different board here as well, just to give you another example of that with the uh, with the bending because it does look really cool. Um, so let's go to the 3D canvas again on this clamshell design. You may recognize. Um, so obviously the components we can we can take the 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 shadowing off so we we can see the opacity through here. But if we go to kind of let's just take the opacity back on, and then if we just bend these out very very cool the way that that works and seamless the way that it shows let's just get rid of the place bound so we can do that again uh, go to the visibility and we can actually fold that directly inside the canvas 